Everyone is calling this game the worst game of 2023, but I'm calling it the best prequel to King Kong on the PSP. Greetings my fellow PSP heads and welcome to the PSP Network where we celebrate the greatest handheld of all time. Now, cozy games are a big topic on this channel, and while everyone is playing Spider-Man this weekend, I'm playing Skull Island, The Rise of Kong, and Peter Jackson's King Kong on the PSP. For a while now, people have been setting a very high expectation to how a game looks, especially when it comes to game systems like the PS5 and Xbox Series S. But I don't really roll like that. I usually judge it based on how fun it is. Now my friend surprised me this week with an Xbox Series X, so I went on to the store to see if there were any games that I can play that were coming out soon. Lo and behold, I stumbled across Skull Island Rise of Kong, and if you know me, I'm a huge fan of Kaiju, Godzilla, all that stuff, so I had to at least see what it had to offer. I read some reviews online and I came to find out that people weren't too crazy about it for some reason. With there being only a couple days left on the pre-order discount, I decided to bite the bullet and at least give it a try. I gotta say, people have jumped to conclusions about this game. I was rather surprised of how entertaining the game was and the vast size of Skull Island itself. It's fun. There, I said it. I don't care what other people say about it. And I got the Colossal Edition so I can even have the classic skin of King Kong. This is what we call in the gaming world a cozy game, like King Kong on the PSP, and it is a perfect prequel to it. Now with both games, when you play as Kong, there is no dialogue or maps to look at on the island, so you really have to navigate through the jungle as if you were Kong. It takes the responsibility out to where the next planned destination is, and that's what makes these games really cozy. The only thing that you're really doing in these games is surviving as protector of Skull Island. Now, there's a skills tree you can grow in the Rise of Kong, but it's perfect because that's his origin. While on the PSP, that's in a later timeline, and you are Kong's prime. Any Kong or Kaiju fan are gonna both love these games. And I highly recommend you give both a try before missing out on some really cool gameplay, really fun gameplay, if I do say. Don't make your prejudgments based off of what a majority of people say. I would say form your own opinion and play these games yourself. And you'll come to realize that, yeah, it's a licensed game. But uh, most licensed games are really fun to play because they have that cozy vibe to them. Have you played these games yet? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I appreciate everyone for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I upload my latest PSP content. We have a Discord that is live for the PSP network that I'll put down in the description below. So come along, introduce yourself. We talk everything PSP and we would absolutely love to have you. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.